โอเคไปบัสซ So we're doing free readings today. If you feel called to get a free reading today, I would love to give that to you. Um, just let me know what your name is, your sign, and like what what type of reading you would like, and then we'll we'll make that happen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some cards on this uh, collective energy here. Thank you. My hair is like wild and crazy today, but I'm kind of slimming for it. <sighs> okay, Gabby, you just want to hear like anything. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Let us see. Connect with your energy, Gabby. What does Gabby need to hear in her high school? Oh my goddess! Oh. Queen of Pentacles here, so definitely like whatever you're doing, you're doing the right thing. Like, you're definitely on the mark when it comes to being in that flow um yeah so don't get discouraged by anything at this time like just keep motivating yourself eight of swords coming out here it's like you might have your blindfold on um some illusions but your higher self is really wanting you to know right now that like you are doing what you're meant to be doing like, this is bringing you long-term success, right? Aries, Sun, Sagittarius, Moon, Leo, Rising. I love that, Gabby. Um, Ten of Pentacles. That, like, you're literally, like, creating a future for yourself and your family. Um, I don't know you. I don't know your life. Like, I don't know what you're up to. But energetically, it really does feel like you are... You're creating magic and you're motivating so spirit wants you to meditate work honey work <laughs> spirit wants you to meditate and visualize next steps you know how can you take your work to the next level um how can you move into calmer waters um yeah, like you, uh, you're like a vortex. You're a, you're a tornado. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're unstoppable. And um, <laughs> you can ask Jesus anything. Exactly. Jesus is one of my spirit guides, Yeshua. So, yeah, there's definitely a transformation on the horizon for you, my love. So be open to that. Be open to releasing anything that's like holding you back. Um, with death and rebirth coming out here, it feels like you are pretty much like shedding away like anything that no longer serves you so that you can fully embody like this like most like successful version of yourself. Um, Nine of cups here. Um, you are so victorious and you're gonna continue to be victorious don't um get down thank you for the roses don't get down if things like kind of start to get like topsy-turvy or work or like wobbly because it's happening so that you can like release things that just aren't serving your highest purpose so like you are definitely on like your golden timeline oh my god my cards are flying everywhere i'll be right back <laughs> Um, and yeah, ah, it's windy. <laughs> um, ask your, um, ask your inner child what they want. Ask your inner child what they want. And high priest is coming out here. Like your intuition is so on point. Like, I don't know if like you're a tarot reader, psychic or whatever, 
but trust your intuition like your intuition is so powerful and on point i feel like you can read people like nobody's business um and you know people trust you people trust your opinion because like you are very much so tapped in so yeah keep on strengthening those abilities and using those um and yeah i love that for you yes thank you thank you work slay the house down period ay, 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 ay. <laughs> i'm so here for it um you're so so welcome gabby okay april capricorn finances so you want to know about your fine outsides let's see let's see so are you focusing where are you focusing your energy thank you for the roses the lovers is coming out here so like i don't know if you're focusing on like another person or or what when it comes to like finances i don't know let's see let's pull some cards here um Hmm. Maybe someone's coming in to help you with your finances. Um, justice. Justice coming out here. What is this? What is this justice? Um, I don't know if, like, somebody, like, in your past, like, kind of, like, maybe, like, put an evil eye on you or was, like, you're never going to be able to make it or you're never going to be able to succeed you're breaking past that and you um and like justice is being served on your behalf um you're really being asked to like really like tap into spirit when it comes to like your finances and make sure you're coming from a place of love and not ego death and rebirth came out for you as well um with five of wands so there might be like competition in like your field of work. Use that as like encouragement. You guys are all in this together. It's not, it's not a competition. You guys are all in it together. Um, and if there is like a competitive thing, it's like, use that as like fuel, you know? Like, um, it's not like I'm better than you. It's like, we all can win, right? Um, you're also going through like a transformation, a transformative period of your life where you're letting go of the past things that used to hold you back. I am picking up on like this love for you. I don't know if you're in a relationship now or like you're manifesting a relationship, but I feel like somebody's really going to come in and help you with your finances. This doesn't mean they're going to be giving you money. It means that they're going to be like helping you like believe in yourself and like, you know, flow with things like that um hi hannah so yeah ten of cups coming out here let's see what else does april need to hear when it comes to her finances um yeah like definitely like making time for yourself making time for yourself like dancing you're talking to someone currently okay so three of swords came out so like i don't know like if like you're still like holy motherfucker the wind is crazy <laughs> <laughs> so oh my goddess oh. why is it so windy <laughs> okay um seven of wands ace of swords and ten of cups so yeah meditate and you know sit in that like peaceful um meditative mind and you're gonna receive clarity um i feel like this death and rebirth is happening so that you can release like the past wounds because you don't want these wounds to affect your future or like your current reality so you're really like healing those wounds and leaving them in the past um so that you can have like the most abundant life um yeah trust your intuition trust your intuition period all right and it feels like this love is like a really good connection because like it kept coming out it's a really like spirit wants it to work out with you guys um so trust the process trust the process uh, kim 
Kimberly wants to know, should I leave my job? Let's see. Let's see what cards come out. I mean, like, if you're feeling, like, if your intuition is, like, pushing you to leave your job, I would say, you're so, so welcome. I would say, like, definitely, like, start looking for new jobs or even, like, new streams of income. Like, what, um, oh, you want a reading, Hannah? Yeah, 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 I'll give you a reading. Um, let's do Kimberly. We're on Kimberly, right? Um. Kimberly and then um, Hannah and then Chloe. Um, Kimberly, should you leave your job? Let's see. The Hermit. So Spirit wants you to really, really go into like your sacred space on your own. Spirit doesn't want you asking a bunch of people or even telling anybody that you're doing this but make a plan make a plan and you're gonna get the confirmation from your spirit guides and your ancestors it's gonna be an energetic confirmation it might come in a dream or you might just like feel it in your spirit and you're gonna know what to do and when to do it and you do not need anybody else's um advice about this this is your decision to make it's between you and spirit um so knight of wands like definitely like you're definitely meant to be um a leader you're meant to be a, a trendsetter a trailblazer and if you're not in the position to do that right now spirit needs you in that position so yeah really go inward for this and you know if your intuition is already telling you then it's probably like yeah death and rebirth with uh five of wands so, you know, transformation. <laughs> a lot of transformational energy, a lot of clearing out the things that don't serve you. And, you know, it's okay to take advice from other people. Like, if you want to be, like, a fashion model, it's okay to take advice from other fashion models. You know what I mean? Like, be open to that. It's not a competition. It's not a race. We're all in this together. Okay, so I think we're going to do Hannah. Um... And you guys, my cash shop is open for donations, always and forever. Um, Hannah, what type of reading would you like? Um, after Hannah, we're going to go to Chloe, okay? Or Chloe. Yeah, Chloe, okay. So, Hannah, what type of reading would you like? I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling for you, though. Toot that thing up, mommy, make it roll. When you pop, like, drop it for me, girl. What are my options? You can get a love reading, a career reading, um, future reading, a general reading. I also have my fairy cards if you want a fairy reading. Um, let me know. Okay, let's start pulling some cards for Hannah. We're going to jump right into a general reading for Hannah. A love slash general reading. Okay. You want fairy cards? Okay, give me a second. Let's pull some tarot and then I'll get my fairy cards. So I feel like karma is really on your side. Like, I don't know if you are... Okay, so everything that's happening to you right now is happening for you. You have a lot of good karma headed your way. You do. Um, so continue to, like, wake up in, like, a really positive state of mind. Temperance coming out here as well. Like, the angels are working on your behalf, but they need you to put in the work. They need you to meet them halfway right so keep putting in the work keep striving for greatness and um understand that like everything is really falling into place for you at this moment lovers coming out like there is like this this connection here um you are really loving yourself like fully and completely like every little thing about you um and that's what's allowing this love to really flow in for you naturally um you have so much support from the angels it's like not even funny yo like so much support like i don't know if you're focusing on like the things that like didn't work out for you or or maybe you're focusing on like the things that you think didn't work out for you but everything's been working out perfectly if it didn't work out it wasn't meant to it, did, it wasn't meant to okay 
if you guys want to be moved up on the list you can send any donation to my cash app and then i'll move you up on the list we have a few people um after chloe or after hannah so okay let's get a couple fairy cards for hannah and then we'll go ahead and go to um who's next chloe right okay what do the fairies have for you my love what do the fairies have for you? Okay, this card. Forget me not. So is this lover somebody that you already know? Because they're saying don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. You know, don't don't choose somebody else. Like I I I want to be with you, but like maybe I'm not ready yet. And this is what they want to say. Like they, they're not ready yet. Like they they love you and they love how you love yourself um and it's a lot for them because it's forcing them to like love themselves too so they can be with you like they don't want to be with you if they're not going to be uplifting you so they're really really working on themselves tattoo fairy it's like you tattooed like you're <laughs> the flirt like you tattooed onto them like you are like a part of like you will always be a part of them they will never forget about you like they will always love you type shit and it feels like you you have already had like somewhat of a connection with them so take that how it resonates um okay who is next we have um chloe chloe am i gonna get fired from my job chloe oh my god <laughs> Are you manifesting to get fired from your job? <laughs> oh, Olivia, if you're still here, hey girl. <laughs> you want a general, Chloe? <laughs> okay, let's give you a general reading. And then after Chloe, it's gonna be, um, Tanisha, are you still here? Or, okay, whoever just sent the donation, you're next, and then Tanisha. Because I said that whoever sends a donation gets to be next. So, okay, my love. Let's go ahead and do Chloe. Okay, Tanisha, you're going to be after um, I Am Treasure. Okay. Damn, I want to write this down so I don't fucking forget. Okay. Chloe, my love, you want a general reading. What do your spirit guides want you to know? They said you're mastering something. They're telling me that you're mastering something. Um, what are you working on? Like, what is it? What are you learning? What are you working on? Because they, they need you to keep doing this. Because I don't know if you realize, like, how far you've come. And, like, how much you have accumulated and learned but you need to keep going um i don't know what this is for you but it is important for your future that you keep doing this take time to really really just like look over the landscape of your life your past and your current and like the people in your life and like everything in your life just like see it from a bird's eye view and um you know just take it all in take it all in right king of wands there is somebody in your energy that's like really scoping you out and watching you whether they're attracted to you romantically or they just like love your knowledge and they want to learn from you somebody's watching you whether they're watching your social media or ju they're just really into you right now um and i think it's because of like the knowledge that you have okay um six of cups coming out here so definitely take time to ask your inner child what do they need from you um get clear on like what did you used to dream of when you were a child and a teenager what were you what what did you want out of your life um and how can you every day like make your inner child happy and and feel seen and heard three of cups and nine of cups i do feel like you're on a solo journey right now and um from this like solo journey you're gonna get a lot of abundance that you're gonna be able to like 
fill other people's cup up, but spirit really needs you to be filling your own cup up at the moment. So trust where you are. You're in the perfect place and the perfect timing. Um, and that energy is just so very beautiful for you. Okay. So treasure and then Tanisha. So treasure, what type of reading would you like my love? Let me know. Let me know. Really need to know whether or not I should take this. A general reading. Okay. Toot that dang up. Mommy, make it rock. When you pop, like, drop it for me. Girl, get low. Just a general. A little bit of love. Okay, my love. Let's see. Yeah, of course. treasure that is what you are so you're balancing things out in the physical right now it feels like you're whether that's like you're um I'm, I'm seeing like you're like paying debts or like making sure like all debts are paid you're balancing things out um you're getting in this like really beautiful energy um i'm seeing like you're like house is just cleaner than ever um you're preparing spirit wants you to like get rid of things like cleaning things and get rid of things because you're you're preparing for new things to come in like new ships to arrive um yeah a queen of pentacles i feel like massive abundance is on its way to you right now and it's kind of been like on hold um like spiritually on hold because like spirits like oh shit like she can't even fucking like clean her bathroom like how the hell is she gonna handle this type shit you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying you don't know how to clean your bathroom but like that type of thing like you know spirit wants you to be like 100 like on your p's and q's and like in this like beautiful like routine where like you you can handle everything because there's more things headed your way the fool you're not meant to know about this it's meant to be a surprise um you're just meant to be in a beautiful flow state every day waking up being grateful for what you have every day waking up and saying your affirmations um saying why you're grateful you know what i mean speaking your life into existence um and great things are on the way to you like yeah i feel like people are going to be coming into your life to help you um th there is like definitely like intimate sexual energy that is like culminating inside of you um and that's like making you very attractive um hey love how are you how are you so let's see what the fairies have to say because like I don't know like it feels like you have a lot of candidates is what i'm really f picking up on you have a lot of options and if you don't you will um you're gonna know which one makes you happiest in your heart i feel like there's gonna be an option that makes your ego really happy there's gonna be an option that like fulfills like i don't know like like there's gonna be like toxic options and like really healthy options you really need to follow your heart you really need to follow your heart and don't just get distracted by like the shiny object um pedestal and discovery you are still discovering yourself so you want to choose the person that is going to take you on the path of like the most like soulful self-discovery um and not just the one with like the nicest car or the shiniest room <laughs> um they're gonna try to put you on a pedestal don't let them put you on a pedestal you guys are eye to eye equal equivalent lovers okay so um moon secrets um you really want to be with someone that you can share your deepest darkest most intimate secrets with and not feel judged judged right um who is they i don't know like it feels like there's gonna be options for you there's definitely gonna be a soulmate connection here i mean anyone can be your soulmate but it's like you're just gonna know you're just gonna know you're gonna know trust your intuition trust your intuition mama okay who's next okay tanisha are you still here tanisha and then um emily are you still here emily you want your soulmate exactly so 
it's gonna happen naturally they're just gonna like fit right into your life perfectly you're not gonna it's not gonna have to be like effort or like oh i have to like move i have to like make room for them like no like they're just gonna naturally fit they're just gonna it's like a puzzle piece you know you're so so welcome tanisha what is my neighbor issue with me what is your neighbor's issue with you i don't know like that's not, <laughs> i don't know what is your neighbor's issue with you that's a good question are you loud like i don't know like okay this is really what i <laughs> am picking up on um i feel like your neighbor is just like a salty little bitch and no like they just are and like they can't stand like how like effortlessly you shine i don't know like i feel like you have like star energy like you have star quality star energy it is so windy like it's crazy today you have like this star energy that it's kind of like like a laser beam you know what i'm saying so it's a lot for them to handle but that's really not your problem that they can't handle you empress you are the fucking empress my love you are the empress i get that but she comes at me very aggressively it's because you're the empress and you get anything that you want effortlessly effortlessly and like she can't stand that because like you're just so like you're like a queen you're a queen and everybody's trying to knock you off your throne and like she's like the closest to you so like she's definitely you know you can do a spell like a banishment spell um and like i don't know either you'll get a, a new house or she'll be moving but <laughs> that's just some witchy advice for me but um no yeah your energy is like interstellar um your energy is interstellar and you have like a motherly energy yeah conflict coming out here so y'all be fighting or whatever but spirit doesn't need you fighting her spirit needs you focused on your grind focused on your highest timeline um there's no need to fight somebody that's just salty because you're winning um they're just salty because you're shining they're just salty because they don't have what you have and so yeah spirit doesn't want you to fucking worry about it hermit mode literally like she doesn't exist if she's talking to you you don't hear her you know what i mean like don't give her your time i feel like you let it get to you you let her words get to you or their words get to you spirit doesn't want you doing that anymore spirit needs you to be focused on yourself focused on your self growth focused on your soul journey um and this karmic neighbor is not doing anything but distracting you from your own spiritual growth so yeah <laughs> yeah it's because you're just such a ever effervescent soul okay am i missing anybody right now for a reading i know emily really wanted a reading um i don't know if emily's still here <laughs> oh just see. 